Will climate change make the world a more violent place? I'm Dan Riskin. When it gets uncomfortably hot, violent crimes go up. Shakespeare even wrote about that in Romeo and Juliet, when Romeo said to Mercutio, the day is hot, the Capulet's abroad, and if we meet, we shall not escape a brawl. For now, these hot days, the mad blood is stirring. But is Shakespeare right? Will climate change make it harder to escape a brawl? Well, two psychology researchers have published a book arguing that the bard was onto something, and they point out three ways in which climate change could increase human violence. First, humans get more violent when they get too hot. That's simple enough. For example, previous papers have shown that hotter US states see more violence than cooler ones, and that there's more violence in the hot summer months than in winter. Second, the researchers argue that as natural resources become more limited by climate change, there will be more competition over them. That could ultimately lead to political unrest, civil war, or international conflicts. And third, the researchers argue that the climate crisis could hurt kids in a way that will make them more prone to violence as adults. Problems like failed crops and natural disasters cause economic instability, stress, and food scarcity. Sometimes it results in forced migration. All of those, say the researchers, especially malnutrition for the developing brain, can hurt the development of kids in a way that makes some of them more aggressive as adults. Together, these three mechanisms only make it more clear that we need to fight climate change as aggressively as possible, but there's a silver lining too. Sometimes it feels like a person has to pick a cause, either they support humanitarian causes or environmental ones, but this book shows why those issues are connected and how fighting for humanitarian causes can help us fight the worst effects of climate change, especially for kids. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.